In this lesson, we'll go through several examples where we discuss the differences between fission and fusion in a nuclear reaction. Question one reads, classify the following as pertaining to fission, fusion, or both. For A, we have a large nucleus breaks to produce smaller nuclei. Let's quickly discuss the difference between the two. Fission is when one nucleus is split into two or more parts, while fusion is when two nuclei come together. That's just the general idea of the difference between the two. Now we're told in question A, a large nucleus breaks apart. By definition, that is fission. Part B, large amounts of energy is released. For this one, you have energy being released in both fission and fusion. So for part B, we can say it's both. Just think about it. If you're splitting an atom, you're going to release energy. And if you're putting two atoms together or two subatomic particles together, you'll experience the same thing. For question C, extremely high temperatures are needed for the reaction. In order to fuse subatomic particles together, two atoms together, a large amount of energy is required. So this is fusion. Question two is much the same. Classify the following nuclear equation as pertaining to fission, fusion, or both. Notice that energy is being released and we're going from two hydrogen atoms, two isotopes of hydrogen, into one helium atom. We're bringing two different atoms together. That's fusion. And remember, with fusion and fission, energy is released. So it's safe to assume this is fusion since we have two small nuclei combining and it's releasing energy. And there you have it. A few examples on how to identify fission versus fusion.